Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. This is Unit 1, Lesson 17, Squares and Cubes. The objective says I can use the formulas for area and volume to find missing measurements. Letter A. A square has a side length of 4 centimeters. What is its area? Well, area is a two-dimensional attribute, and we, when we think about area, we think of how much stuff do we need to cover that uh, two-dimensional surface. So with a square, we know that all sides are the same length. So normally with area of a square or a rectangle, we would multiply the length times the width, but the side lengths are the same. So it would be side times side or side squared to give us the area of any square. So I'm going to take that formula, area equals side squared, and I'm going to insert four centimeters as the value of side. So then as I write that again, it would look like area equals four centimeters all of that squared. So I square the four, I square the centimeters, and it tells me that there would be 16 squares of the same shape and size, that would be one centimeter on each side, that would it, it would take to cover that entire area of that square. Letter B says the area of a square is 49 meters squared. What is its side length? So again, we're looking at area. We need the area formula. And when we look at that prompt again, it says the area is 49 square meters. So I know the value of the area. So I'm going to substitute that for A in that formula. So 49 square meters is the same thing as what squared? So I think to myself, hmm, what times itself is equal to 49? And I can try numbers if I don't have my square numbers memorized. I could try 5 times 5, 25. Nope, not big enough. Keep going. 6 times 6, 36. Nope, not big enough. Try again. 7 times 7, 49. Bing, 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 bing. The side length must be 7. 7 what? 7 meters. Um, a side length is that one-dimensional measurement, and again, we have to be able to square both the 7 and the meters to make 49 square meters. So the side length is 7 meters long, that one-dimensional attribute. It's not square meters, it's just meters. Letter C, a cube has edge length of 3 centimeters. What is its, is its volume? So we're not going to be looking at the area. We're not covering just one face. Instead, we're thinking about how much does it take to fill up the cube. So how many smaller cubes of the exact same shape and size would it take to fit inside of this cube? So we know that volume is a three-dimensional measurement. We're looking at how many cubes, how many three-dimensional cubes would fit inside of that space. So we need the length, the width, and the height. We need those three dimensions, length, width, and height. And in this case, since it's a cube, all the faces are squares. All the sides are going to be the exact same length. So we have side, 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 all being multiplied together to find that volume in a rapid way. So we have side times side times side, or side to the third power. So volume equals side cubed, or side to the third power. So there's our um, formula. We're going to substitute what we know which is the length. The side length is three inches. So I'm going to put three inches in for my side length, and then I'm going to cube that number. Now remember, it's not just going to be three times three. Three times three would tell me how many cubes would be on the bottom layer, but I actually have three layers of three times three cubes. So then that would be three times three times three. So three times three is nine, and then I have three layers of nine for a total of 27 cubes of the same shape and size that it would fit that would fit inside of that cube to represent its volume. Again, the objective says I can use the formulas for area and volume to find missing measurements. So now that we understand how we got those formulas, we can apply them anytime that we're working with area or volume with a square or a cube. Thanks for watching.